Hey, what's up guys? Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to another Top 10 Best City of Tweaks and Apps for iOS 7. I know I just did one yesterday, but that was for the free tweaks and apps. Uh, and this one has some paid uh, tweaks and apps and also some free as well. So I'll leave all of the tweak information down in the description and I'll also leave a link to my Top 10 free um, iOS 7 City of Tweaks and Apps uh, link down there as well. Uh, so I'm not going to waste any of your time, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this. Now the first tweak I got for you guys is called iMusic Share CC for Control Center, kind of a long name, but it's a really quite cool tweak. Uh, so if we go ahead and slide up on Control Center, uh, as you can see you have a Facebook icon now and a Twitter icon. Uh, what that's going to allow you to do is to either post to Facebook or tweet to Twitter whatever song it is you might be listening to. It's a really simple, cool tweak uh, that, like I said, just allows you to post whatever kind of music you like to either Facebook or Twitter. Again, that's called iMusicShare CC for Control Center. Next is a Cydia application. It's called iDynamic. Now, what iDynamic does is it adds uh, new dynamic animated wallpapers uh, to your already existing dynamic wallpapers within the settings application. Now, I covered this like two days ago. Uh, basically, how this works is you go into the iDynamic uh, application here, and there's uh, all these different packs of different animated you know, dynamic wallpapers. Now, depending on whichever pack you want, you just click on the check mark and it will install it into your settings and it will overwrite the already dynamic wallpapers in there. Uh, now, uh, this is a free app, like I said, but to unlock all of the animated wallpapers, you will have to make an in-app purchase through PayPal of $1.99. Uh, but like I said, it does come with a lot of free ones, so if this is something that might interest you, I'd recommend checking it out. Again, it's called iDynamic. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Swipey. This is a lock screen tweak. Uh, what it allows you to do is to set up six application shortcuts, and the way you access them on your lock screen is to swipe to the right. As you can see, I have messages, Cydia, phone, Spotify, Tweetbot, and Instagram. And as you can see, when you select whatever app you want, uh, go ahead and put my fingerprint in here. And there you go, it opens up Instagram, just like so. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'd recommend to. Link is down in the description. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Swipey. It's just uh, six um, application shortcuts directly from your lock screen. So one eyesore with iOS 7 is when you play music through your music application or Spotify or Pandora, whatever it might be, uh, when you have the album artwork displayed on your lock screen. I always thought it looked weird how it just puts the album artwork over your you know, already existing wallpaper and I just don't think it looks really good. Uh, so the tweak spectral, what it does is it'll basically blow up the album artwork uh, to fill up the whole screen and then it'll add a blur effect over the top of it that makes your wallpaper so that the album artwork matches the background of the lock screen. Now I'll show you what this what I mean by this. Uh, so I do have the um, Eminem song playing right now and if we go to the lock screen as you can see the background is basically the album artwork blown up with a blur effect to it so that it matches and I really like this tweak it's you know it doesn't have any functionality it just kind of gets rid of an eyesore within iOS 7 again that's called spectral the next tweak I got for you guys is called repower now this is an awesome tweak uh, basically when you hold your power button on the top of your device you normally just get the slide to power off uh, this adds a couple new options and I love the way it looks I think it looks really cool uh, so there you go as you can see you have your normal slide to power off you also do have slide to reboot in yellow and slide to respring in green uh, this is a very very useful uh, tweak in my opinion. I think it looks really good. The developer did a great job putting this together. Uh, very, very simple, but a lot of functionality with that. Again, that's called Repower. So if you guys are a fan of the old style switcher that was found within iOS 6 and below, you can get that. It's called Classic Switcher. So if I go ahead and open up uh, the switcher, as you can see, it gets rid of the iOS 7 you know, card style, which I think is slow and sluggish, and you get back that old uh, you know, classic switcher at the bottom here. Now, uh, I like the animation that it has. It does have a couple of options within the settings app. You can have it do different stuff. Uh, also, you know, to blur uh, the background. I like the blur. I think that looks really good on iOS 7. Another cool feature of Classic Switcher is if you swipe to the right, as you can see when that little X lights up and you release your finger, it's going to kill all multitasking applications. So that's really functional as well. And if you go ahead and click on the application, it's just like the Classic Switcher. You can go ahead and end a, you know, individual application from multitasking very simply. You can also have uh, one to three rows. So this is one row. You could have two rows or three rows of multitasking tasking applications if I can talk here. Uh, so really cool tweak. Again, that's called Classic Switcher. Next, we do have a notification center tweak and it's called App Tray. 
and it opens automatically to the app tray. As you can see, it's a new section at the top there. You have your normal today, uh, you know, your all, your missed, and then you have app tray. Uh, now, within the settings, you can configure whatever application shortcuts you want within here. As you can see, I set up quite a few. I actually have 12 in here. Uh, and basically, you can just use it as an app shortcut directly from your notification center. Very simple tweak, but yet another very functional tweak. Again, that is called App Tray. The next tweak I got for you guys is another notification center tweak, and it's called Share Widget for iOS 7. So if we go to the Today tab at the top, as you can see, I do have a Twitter uh, share button and a Facebook share button. So if you go ahead and click on that, uh, it's just going to bring you, you know, the share card. Uh, to you know make whatever tweet you want or whatever you post you want for Facebook as you can see just like that really cool very simple tweak I like the way it looks in notification center I think it goes really good uh, and again that's called share widget for iOS 7 the next tweak is called SB power alert now the way you uh, uh, set this tweak up as you go into activator and you set up your own activation method to invoke this tweak uh, there's a lot of settings for it as well you can enable or disable different aspects of it uh, mine is currently a triple press of the home button so if we do a triple press as you can see uh, it gives you some uh, some options here it shows your free ram that's available it shows your storage on your device uh, also it does give you the name of your device and what iOS version you're running uh, there's a lot of other stuff as well like you can display your Wi-Fi IP address and a few other things and then you do have the options of a uh, reboot power off respring safe mode lock and then obviously the cancel button and that's really all sb power alert does is it gives you a bunch of you know options and information about your device uh it's really quite useful again that's called sb power alert and last but not least is an exclusive tweak that's for iphone 5s users only that have the touch id sensor in the home button this is called bio lockdown uh this is a very very secure tweak that allows you to lock uh, certain uh application even certain switches within control center and individual sections within the settings application uh, with your your touch ID sensor so you can go ahead and try to open up Cydia as you can see it's uh, asking me to scan my fingerprint this finger uh, is not um, registered so as you can see it'll do a little animation saying that's incorrect and it does not let you bypass it unless your finger is registered uh, so this thumb is as you guys can see there it goes it launches Cydia if we go into the settings application I'll show you a little bit about bio lockdown uh, like I said it allows you to uh, even lock certain areas within uh, the settings app which is really cool and even toggles within control center this is a very very secure well put together tweak uh, so here's what I have you know uh, uh, locked down basically I've bio locked down contact city find my iPhone I file mint phone photos respring um, if we go to new restriction there's a couple of sections in here as you can see there's switches there's apps and then there's settings uh, settings pages right there so if I wanted to you know uh, protect the general I can go ahead and add that really quickly we can go ahead and back out and if we scroll up and when I try to go into general as you can see it is asking me to scan my fingerprint very very cool tweak again that's called bio lockdown so there you go guys those are 10 more really awesome tweaks from Cydia that work with iOS 7 I would highly recommend you know checking some of those out again all of the tweak information is down in the description uh, also the link to my previous top 10 video is down there as well and i'll leave one more link for you guys which goes to my uh my playlist for jailbreak uh, the best jailbreak ios 7 tweaks and apps uh playlist i'd recommend checking that out if you guys want to discover you know even more really cool ios 7 tweaks and apps uh, but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked any of these tweaks uh that i showed you guys definitely throw me that thumbs up that does help me out tremendously here at the channel also if you guys want to see more ios 7 jailbreak tweak and app coverage don't forget to click that subscribe button this has been jeremy and i'll catch you guys in the next one Later.